my name's James Monks. I'm one of the directors here at Manor and I mainly work on the operations side of the business. Manor offers transportable homes or manufactured homes to the market in New South Wales. We've been in this industry now for 30 years, it's a family business. Our main customers at Manor would be people that are relocating out of the cities where they've bought a lifestyle block and want to put a nice home on there. Hello, I'm Micah Sharp. I was tasked with implementing steel framing at Manor. We used to be solely timber. The reason why we looked into steel is the benefits of steel being to have the plans pre-done, know that the structure is going to pass all the engineering requirements and offer a premium product to our clients. A lot of our jobs are in remote areas in the bush where you have problems with white ants and other elements while we steel frames aren't affected. One of the probably main benefits is being able to have a plan set before you start the build and go through the plan set. Engineering, it can be all done in-house, checked and then sent off to the engineer and you can guarantee that the builders will be building it to how you want it to be built. Now if I went and asked one of these carpenters behind me whether they wanted to build a house out of timber, they'd turn around and ask if you could get someone else to do it. I'm Peter, I'm the factory manager at Manor Homes. I've seen the transition from timber to steel. So moving to frame CAD or steel design, it forced us to become more of a manufacturer than a builder. So we're actually planning and putting all the parts together rather than building, uh, which then speeds up the process and ties everything in along the line and getting the details correct as we move along. It's lighter, it's definitely a lot straighter. We don't have issues with the old noggin sticking out and upsetting the plasters and tiles anymore. You can definitely see the difference looking down a hallway. They're definitely 100% straighter than what they used to be. Instead of carrying 20 packs of material for all different sizes, we're down to one size coil, maybe two. Uh, and you know, it's condensed into a one by one area rather than taking up 20 by 10 meter space. Having a steel frame machine has been great for us to implement some improvements into the factory. We've been able to make you know, new stairs to be able to get into the homes. Um, we've got lighter trolleys. Instead of lifting LVL beams with a crane, we can actually lift that by hand because the weight is down. That's definitely been a huge improvement for manufacturing for us. Since introducing the steel frame machine that FrameCAD supplied us, we've definitely seen our wastage go down, whereas we'd have to empty more timber offcuts um, more often, whereas now we're down to one bin and we might have to empty that every couple of months where we'd be emptying a timber bin once a week. The dust has definitely lessened. Uh, obviously, we don't have drop soils going anymore. Um, so yeah, there's less sweeping, less vacuuming. Overall, you'd have to say that it's a really easy machine to use reliable and quite cost effective. We've had a very good experience dealing with FrameCAD. I was surprised when I first started implementing it, how easy they made it to swap over. The software is very simple to use. I was a bit nervous going back into that role, but with FrameCAD, it, I picked it up within a few weeks. Design is a key part of it. And the benefits of we've had with the FrameCAD structure software, is being able to iron out any problems that we'd have later on in the build process. So we see a, a huge benefit in BIM building in a digital way before actually building it physically. We can see any problems that we're gonna come across, having the ability to be able to have a 3D view of all your frames before you actually construct them and then go through and make any changes at a click of a button. It's a huge advantage. There is a big push towards modular globally, but in Australia, the main advantage of modular is that so much is done off-site. But typically we do 50 homes a year. The perception towards manufactured homes has probably changed a lot for the last five years. Previously to that, you'd see a lot of people coming in a little bit wary as to what they're going to see. So you have a look around there, our display home, and probably 90% of the people would never guess it was built off-site. Being a manufacturer over a standard builder comes with its benefits. We don't have delay days. You don't have to worry about the weather. You know, we can put a roof on when it's raining, we don't have to stop. You know, if we have late issues from materials with windows or, or a roof for that matter, we can continue building internally without having to stop the build. We've got more room to store materials, so the process is a lot quicker. It's very important that we get that right at the start 
So then that way we don't lose any production days. Whereas if you're on a typical build site, you could easily lose a week, you know, a bad weather or the wrong material turning up. So once we get the tick of approval from the client and councils, it's pretty much systems all go, it moves quite quickly. So by the time we start putting the floor down and standing frames and having the cladding and windows and roof on, we're probably 23 to 27 work days in the factory. So ready to go on the truck. Personally, I've seen a growth in modular and a lot of people are more understand now when I say I work for a modular builder that they go, yeah, we saw a modular house and whereas before they'd be like, really, you do that? So definitely the industry is going in that direction. And I think with the speed of what people want things these days, it's definitely gonna be the way to go. Frank Cad is definitely a partner in our business. We need them as much as they need us. And I think that partnership will continue for a long time.